Okay, welcome. First off, I am a complete novice. So it's been a long season here at the Vino Farm Bee Yard and uh, today is going to be the last time I do anything really substantial to the hive. This is hive winterization part two, day 170 something. I don't know exactly. But the sun is setting. It's a gorgeous day today. Uh, it is mid-November and the hive has gone through winterization phase one, which was the tar paper and the Vivaldi board. Today we're going to be adding the insulation part of the winterization. I am winterizing with two inch polystyrene foam. And you can see how I built these shells right here. Go ahead and click on it. I also have a polystyrene cover to go over the other cover. The reason I'm doing that is I've, I've read a few different opinions on where to put the insulation on the top cover. And I've decided to put mine on the outside of the hive. I've heard of people putting the insulation on the inside of the cover. I have heard though that that causes condensation to form on top of the insulation between the cover and the insulation. So inside your top cover, there's a layer of condensation and ice forming and that's still inside the hive, and I didn't like that idea. My thought was to put the insulation on the outside of the cover so that it will keep the cold air away from that cover. The bees will produce heat, which will go up into the Vivaldi board, which will go up to the cover, and that will stay warm because it's insulated. It's inside the hive, and it, that, that warm air is gonna stay warm in there. Uh, and then you won't get the, the condensing water on the inside of the cover because it's gonna be completely encased in foam on the outside. So that's my thought. I'm gonna give it a shot and let's do this. Before I insulate, I'm gonna check and see how much fondant they've eaten from the past about week and a half. Oh, wow. Almost all of it. Holy crap. Wrap. You got to see this. This was completely packed with fondant about 10 days ago. They have consumed all of that in 10 days. I have to make some more fondant. Whoa! That's all that's left. So again, the basis of the Vivaldi board is that warm air, moist air, can come out of the hive, come up into this area and get out through here. Now, the top cover goes over this, and the reason I didn't want to put insulation, which some people do, inside this cover, this here outside gets cold, and then that that the warm air will come up, get above that insulation, and can produce condensation inside this, up under here. And I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is try and keep this all the way warm. So this is going to stay warm because it's going to be encased in foam. So anything the bees, any warmth the bees create inside here, will, this will stay relatively warm compared to the outside temperature and you won't have condensation forming inside this cover. All right, so this is polystyrene. It actually has a fiberglass uh, sort of shell cover over it. So this is pretty, pretty serious stuff. That's gonna go right outside there like that.
the idea is that this will uh, create a seam here and, and come down and sit on top of that, which will keep that inner cover or the top cover warmer than the outside air. Make sure this is pressed down all the way. All right, let me give you the full tour. We have a bottom entrance reduced to about two and a half inches. I still need to get a mouse guard. Uh, we have black tar paper around the entire hive. We have an upper entrance. We have a Vivaldi board with ventilation here. A top cover under here with a top cover outside of it. This is a two inch foam cover. This is just a two inch rim. It's not double thick. We have two inches of foam around the entire outside of the sides and back. A cutout for the back Vivaldi board vent. And my core flute is on the lower level. So we have an escape for water. Any condensation dripping out of the hive will come out there. So my top cover is actually pretty well insulated on the outside. And I hope the bees can generate heat. It'll stay in there. We have a good black face here for the sunlight to hit during the days for solar gain and I need to make some fondant. So I just have to say thank you. Thank you to YouTube, thank you to all my subscribers. This has been an incredible season. Uh, I've learned so much and a lot of it was doing my own research and asking lots of questions with local people and other beekeeper friends. But I would say half of the things I learned this year came directly from my YouTube comments. And it was totally unexpected that I would have that kind of response when I started this channel. Um, but all I can say is I'm just, I, I can't say thank you enough. Uh, you guys have been just, 99% positive, encouraging, um, helpful, uh, supportive, just just everything. And uh, it, it's made my year way better than it could have been. It could have gone the other direction. And I'm ending my year with a double deep brood box filled with bees, uh, not, not completely filled with honey, but I think they're gonna be okay for the winter. Um, I've, I've uh, got two new hives that you guys have walked me through and helped me out with. It's just been a great year. It's kind of fitting that the sun is setting and this is one of my last videos uh, to do with bees this year. But I don't want you to leave. Uh, stick around. Uh, stay subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe because there are a lot more videos coming. Uh, I've been kind of sidetracked by making bee videos this summer because it, it just was a constant thing and, and it's all I really focused on. But meanwhile, this year, I've been actually filming uh, a ton of things that I didn't edit yet. And they're in the can, I just have to edit them and then start uploading. And there are things to do with all over the, the homestead here. So I have a whole thing about my wildflowers, I've got a whole thing about our renovation we did this year. I'm going to start to introduce the big bakery project that I teased in the old homestead tour video. And there's going to be a lot of ongoing stuff. Uh, I, I want to teach you all how to make sourdough bread because it's one of my favorite things to do. I'm pretty good at it and I'm pretty good at teaching how to do it. So that's coming up 
And I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm keeping the channel going. It's gonna go throughout the winter, year round. We'll be back in the spring with bee videos. And there's gonna be some bee related things over the winter, but uh, no more inspections, um, except we are gonna be moving the hives down here to the bee yard. So that's gonna be coming up, It'll you'll see it. Just subscribe, just subscribe. Stick around, thank you again. Uh, I. I love you guys. Have a great day, night, evening, wherever you are. And uh, thanks again.